What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to extract uh, RAR files here on your Windows computer so you can actually open the files which were compressed by RAR format itself. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, we need to download the specific software. This is the best method that I would recommend you guys to follow in order to extract RAR files. So we need to download the software. Let's quickly launch our internet browser right here and then let's head straight to google.com. Okay. So what we want to do in here on Google is simply type win RAR. Okay. Tap on enter. And then we've got this website in here, which is www.win-rar.com. We want to open up the first link that pops up in here. So once we're here on this website, we're going to download this software by simply tapping here on a download win RAR. The download should start in a few seconds. Here we go. We need to tap on download again down here, download WinRAR, and then the download starts immediately as you can see in here, the setup. Now, while it downloads, I would like to explain you what's the meaning of WinRAR and hey, why do we actually download files in WinRAR format? Why do we need to extract them? What happens is when we actually download files in WinRAR format, that means that that file has been compressed into a different format in order to reduce its size. Okay. So in order to save some storage, in the cloud or while downloading it if you want to save your internet connection you want to make sure you download it in a shorter period of time people do compress it into formats like winrar winzip and many other formats as well so this helps us for example if you have a 20 gigabytes file that you want to upload you can compress it and reduce its size all the way to 12 gigabytes so that's a win-win situation for the person who's uploading because it's going to take the person less time and then this will also benefit you as well while downloading that specific file so here we go let me quickly uh find here the winrar installation it's right here let's double tap here on winrar in order to open up the installation tap on yes the installation process will now start once we tap here on install okay this is a quite straightforward and easy installation process here we go we've got all the type of files in here formats that winrar will be able to extract i recommend you guys to use winrar because you can use WinRAR to also unzip files and also extract files from all these specific formats that we've got in here. Okay, so simply tap on OK and then WinRAR will now launch up. Here we go. We've got WinRAR installed into our computer. And as you can see here, if I open up the windows or start here, we've got WinRAR recently added right now. Okay. So once we open up WinRAR, this is how the software should look like. Now I'm going to show you how to extract WinRAR files as well as how to compress them. If you want to also send the file to somebody else, but you want to make sure you save some space, you can also use WinRAR to do so. So as of now, let me quickly create a random WinRAR file just to show you guys how you can extract it. Okay. So for example, let's say I've got this file in here. Let me tap on add. Okay. Let me ignore. Okay. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. Let me simply browse it into my desktop. Here we go. Bookscan RAR. Okay. And boom, here we go. Let me close it. Let me refresh my desktop. And as you guys can see, we've got a RAR file in here, which is this one. Okay. Bookscan.rar. Let me open up its properties. Here we go. We've got a RAR file in here that we want to extract. Okay. This is actually a PDF file stored inside this specific RAR file. Okay. So what we're going to be doing in here is pretty simple. So if this is your first time installing a RAR file after installing WinRAR into your Windows computer, we need to actually go straight to the file right click and then tap here on open with next up we're going to tap here on choose another app and we want to select to winrar you can also see that we've got a new label in here because i've just installed winrar okay tap on winrar and then tap on 
always so once you tap on always now as you can see let me close it we've got this icon in here allocated to this specific file because this is a file with the RAR format and our computer now identifies every RAR format or zip format as a file that needs to open up with the WinRAR app itself okay so next thing what we need to do we simple double tap on this file and here we go we've got our file inserted in here okay and as you can see you can notice that the original file of the book scan pdf is 206 kilobytes okay but if you see the packed file is now 196 okay so the file reduced in terms of its size because of winrar okay so once you open up winrar in here what you need to do is simply select this specific file in here all the files that appear here are the files which are in this specific folder next up we'll tap on extract to and then we're going to select the destination let's go with desktop and we've got in here a few options for example you can extract and replace the files you can extract and update the files you can freshen existing files only you can also select one of these overwrite modes in here i usually keep this as default simply select desktop and then tap on ok and the extract process will immediately start now i've gotten here this option which says would you like to replace the existing file because i already have one file named as book scan in my case i'll tap here on rename it because i don't want to override it so i'll simply name the file as book scan 2 and tap on ok and here we go the extract process has started and here is my PDF that I've extracted here from my RAR file. Now alternatively, you can also, if you have for example many files in this specific uh, RAR document in here, you do not need to select one. You can actually just deselect any specific file and simply tap on extract. This will extract the entire folder with all this specific files okay simply tap on desktop or whichever path you wish to store that specific document to be extracted tap on ok and then simply tap on rename or anything else okay i can go with rename book scan and i can say book scan 3 for example okay and that file will be extracted here to my desktop. So in this specific case, if I had more files, all those files would have been here extracted to my desktop. Now, another cool thing in here that you can do, you can also add passwords to your files. For example, if you wanna compress this one, let me quickly open up WinRAR in here real quick. We've got WinRAR in here. Let me simply go with uh, bookscan 3 e I'm already on desktop let me tap on add there's an option in here where I can set the password so tap on set password and then in here I can say for example my password will be one two three four five six seven okay re-enter one two three four five six seven tap on ok and then ok and here we go the file is now compressed here into my desktop now every single person who tries to actually open up this specific file tries to extract to the desktop or somewhere else it's going to ask us for a password and you need to type in that specific password in order to actually unarchive and open up that specific file by extracting it to your computer i hope this video really helped you if you find my content useful consider subscribing like the video and if you have any query leave a comment down in the comment section below and i'll make sure i reply to you as soon as possible thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful consider subscribing thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day